the Ben here and welcome back to another video. You can see here that the narrow gauge layout is looking a little bit different. First of all, I bought a very cheap £8 Harmby scale down resin, cast resin chapel building. I like the look of that and you can see there's some groundwork alongside the track work around here and you can see the sort of block work has been in sort of that's Metcalf sort of sheets there. You can see how the platform area has changed here and that the trees, I think they're the Batman ones, they look much better and I want to replace the almost tile looking like now compared to those sort of trees and I, th I think those should make it look better and I, I've, I'm pleased with how this area whole looks with the sort of castle and everything like that and the station and you can see here there's a buffer for a double O gauge track because now I've decided to add an interchange track from standard gauge to narrow gauge that has been ballasted and you can see that's just flexi track and it, that's why it's curved a bit and I've placed out the sleepers correctly though they have shifted since you can see here there's those connector terminal block things that followed by that sort of bit there to be able to connect get power to that without sort of needing a good connection that pole there is just to help it support itself because this is temporary because it's really big in the room about when that's there but it doesn't really matter when I'm running there you can see the loco there but we'll feature more on that later but then that goes in there and you can see there's some brackets to hold it on there's an L bracket there with some screws there and some more under there you can see it's a bit messy but it's not finished yet and you can see despite the bad joint the loco can actually run over it because there's power on both sides it's not relying on the rails connecting to each other you can see there it, they both go over the ballast isn't fully dry yet because I've sprayed it not too long ago but I think that should have stuck fine the buffer stop was bought I think for about 50p at the York show recently and that should have been placed on the layout and like I said, we'll go more over the rolling stock later. But the wood is simply, I think, 30, 40 centimetres long. Just a piece of wood at each end. And I think, each side, and I think I might replace the end. And it's also got enough space for a second track. As you can see, the toad brake van there. And that just goes on the flexi track. Well, I eventually am planning this to spray this black. So it looks a bit more sort of hidden. Almost like, I guess, the uh, sort of wings at a, a theatre. But it's, the ballast style works and everything. And all the track works, which is good. Something else I've been working on, something that's been taking a while, but I'm very pleased with, is this house here. This is a Will's Craftsman Kit farmhouse building, and I've painted it. I've painted it with watercolours, and I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I really want to make more of these, but I'm not sure if I will. But I really like the finish, and I think it looks a lot better compared to sort of the standard Metcalf kits, because I sort of personalised it. And you can even see there's sort of a light inside, so it looks like someone's there almost. But I think that looks really good, though. I'll have to hide some of the joints where you can see light coming through where well, they shouldn't be. You can see the rock work around here. Can't remember if that was there last time, but you can see the wires. Eventually, I want to control this with a Raspberry Pi, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. But eventually I will. But for now, it's just wired up to the controller into the connector block, but that'll change. See the horse box here. I believe this was bought for three or four pounds, I think, at the Harrogate Model Railway Show. And I've cleaned it up a bit, weathered it. You can see, I don't know why there's glue there, but there is. And that's pretty much it. I think I had to glue on the air tank, air cylinder, whatever, that bit there. But that was it, and then weathering it, and I think it looks quite good. Especially considering the fact it's trying. No prizes for what this is, because this is a home B, you know, the normal train set 040 I've just added a bit of extra sort of plastic card strips just to make it look a little bit different and obviously I've painted it blue it was originally in the Santa Express livery however that has changed and I've tried to hide the padded bow here because it's really undetailed really and I've also added some extra sort of little bit of micro strip you can see the bunk has been modified because I thought it looked a bit bad so I'm trying to make it a bit more square but because I don't really want to do too much to this because at the end of the day it's still going to look like that. And you can see here under construction it currently is a uh, ratio uh, gingerbread toad brake van kit. I think this is really detailed 
Though it looks really small compared to the other one, so mm, I don't know. I'm guessing this is an outscale. But the wheels, some of the wheels have to be corrected so they run true more sort of actual straight. But then you can see here, this axle here, and especially the wheel on the right, it's particularly bad. You can see how bad that is and how wobbly it is, so I have to change that. For narrow gauge wagons, I've got this set of five Tally Lynn and Corish Railway wagons. Some have been painted, you can see the, the incline wagon there. This is a normal steel sided wagon. I believe this is the splay sided one where you can see the sides are splaying out a bit and they're wider at the top than they are at the bottom. Now this is a two plank wagon here which eventually will be painted brown to represent the wood. And then you can also see the last one is this two plank or two bar slate wagon. Speaking of slate wagons, you can see these Peco ready to run slate wagons. I've read it, weathered some of them. I've also added weight into the uh, into the slate loads so you can't actually see that. Not all of them have been done, but I think they look a lot realistic. Though I think the green on the slate will have to be toned down. But aside from that, I think they look pretty good. I'm pleased with how the weather has turned out on those and I hope to finish the other ones soon. Thank you for watching this video by me. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with some video ideas or feedback. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.